there must be better ways of spending a beautiful Friday morning in one of the most picturesque parts of Sydney with one of the most iconic British sports cars of a generation. But quite frankly, I can't think of any. The theatre begins before you even open the car. The key is a sculpted work of art. So, first drive in the Aston. Amazing experience. Listen to that beautiful sound. Different again from the Maserati and the Mercedes V8s. It's got a sound all of its own. Rich. Very deep, rich sound, beautiful. first impressions are that this is a very tight, light sports car. It's quite different from the Maserati Gran Turismo, which is more of a GT. This has a much lighter feel about it. Similar in many ways, it has a what I think is a single clutch transmission. It makes sense to drive it in manual. It's a 4.7 litre hand-built V8. I mean, the whole car is hand-built. One of the most striking aspects of it is the quality of the interior, which really puts pretty much any other car to shame. I mean, the, the quality of the materials is spectacular. Um, and, and, you know, that's coming from someone who's experienced Mercedes and uh, Maserati quality, but this is something else. Beautiful aluminium door handles in here. A lot of metal and highly finished and polished buttons and controls on the dashboard. So we have a seven speed transmission. Uh, it's automatic with paddle shifters. As I say, I think it works best as a, as a manual using the paddles to, to shift. Again, the automatic is quite, uh, it doesn't have that smoothness of a traditional um, uh, torque converter automatic or a, a modern, more modern dual clutch. Um, but in manual, it responds reasonably quickly. It's just that little pause where you change gear. That's kind of indicative of a single clutch transmission. 
feels very stable on the road, even in the, uh, the convertible version. Doesn't have any significant scuttle shake. It's a nice stiff chassis. Very precise. As I say, the quality in the cabin is just fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful materials, beautiful build quality. Has the counter rotating uh, tachometer and uh, speedometer, which is interesting. Quite small dials, very nicely made, very nicely set out and a beautiful Aston Martin badge on the on the steering wheel really does make it an occasion to drive this car. It's a brand with such history, so many associations obviously, James Bond, you know it's, a, it's an iconic brand, uh, quite low production but you know some iconic cars over the years and the Vantage is kind of the entry level into the Aston Martin world. Um, but nothing feels entry level about it. It just reeks of quality. So with the top up, it's uh, quite a different car. It's uh, well, nicely insulated. Um, I've been driving it in sport mode, so that kind of does, I think, I'm not sure if it has valves in the exhaust, but it uh, certainly sharpens the throttle response and makes everything a little bit um, tighter and quicker. Um, it's beautifully uh, lined with Alcantara. Um, on the door pillars and the convertible roof sections. Um, nicely insulated. You can still hear enough of that gorgeous engine note to put a smile on your face, which is really one of the most special things about this car. with the windows up and the air conditioning on. It does turn itself into quite a, well, a very comfortable cruiser. Very happily travel long distances in, in a lot of comfort. And of course you can just put it into normal drive mode, turn off the sport mode and it will just drive like a normal car very easily. Suspension is firm, as you'd expect for a car of this kind, um, but not overly busy. Um, Sydney roads are pretty terrible um, and does a pretty good job of smoothing them out, but still feels stiff enough to not notice any any roll, any body roll at all in corners. It's very flat through the corners. Steering is precise. As I say, quite a lot of similarities to the Gran Turismo. Well, a lot of similarities, a lot of differences, obviously. Um, similarities are both 4.7 litre V8s. Um, both um, single clutch well I'm guessing I'll have to check that but I'm feels like a single clutch transmission both single clutch um, both really should be driven in manual mode anything else is, is is a bit sacrilegious I think to drive in an auto but if you just want to poodle around and not worry about using the paddles then you can stick it in drive and it will change gear for you 
So I've really enjoyed my first drive in a V8 Vantage. The, the drama of driving an Aston Martin is, it can't be underestimated. Um, it, is, it is a really special experience.